Mark chapter 13, verse 24. But in those days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. And um, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this is going to be a quick one. All right. I'm going to uh, start off where I left off. This is Mark 13 and 26. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. All right. Because once all these things, all the prophecies take part and take its place and be fulfilled, the scriptures say, look up. All right. Because. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is the Son of Man, okay, the begotten, the truly begotten Son of the Most High and the Heavenly Father, okay, and it says coming in the clouds, them clouds represents the chariots, okay, the angels that ride in the vehicles in which this world called UFOs, it says with great power and glory, and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect, from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. And this is something you can't forget, you know, being a Hebrew Israelite and uh, seeing the time in which, in which we living in, seeing how Esau is uh, really showing his fangs and, you know, doing his uh, his lion, you know, and, and attacking the Israelites and, and staging all of these different incidents that go on, you know, supposedly now the terror of... Uh, uh, the terrorist, the, the new face of terrorist is a so-called black man with a beard, you know, and we see you, Esau. We know that you're doing all this. But guess what? Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is on his return. And that's why I'm reading this scripture, because we can't forget that. Look, just because these things are going on does not stop that Yahweh Shai is, is, is uh, coming. Yahweh Shai is coming, man. OK, it says, and then shall he send his angels. OK. And shall gather gather together his elect from the four winds. And that's why we preach this word. We preach this word to who? The elect. It's all about the elect. It's all about those chosen of the chosen, man. Those ones that were handpicked by the Heavenly Father. Okay? And it was given to his son, Yahweh Shai. It says, from the four winds and from the utmost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven now learn a parable of the fig tree where her branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves ye know that summer is near exactly because when the winter when the weather change you know that summer's approaching you know you get the spring you get the little warm weather jake like to get excited and start wearing shorts before his actual the actual season come in you know and then next thing you know they get sick See, we can tell when the weather's changing, but the point is, can you can you can you tell when when the seasons changing as far as rulership on the earth? Okay, so I'm gonna read again. Now learn the parable of the fig tree where her branch is yet tender, and put it forth leaves. Ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know it is nigh, even at the doors. So we're seeing prophecy being fulfilled, all right? Esau slandering Jacob, you know? One last time will he be able, you know, to sink his, his venom teeth inside the Israelites and in hopes to destroy the Israelites, you know, in a, in a way where he can destroy us as being a nation. What's happening is that they seeing through the spirit that there's a nation arising, which was a nation before. And Esau is very afraid. OK, so now he's wants to counter it. OK, and his counter is according to prophecy. 
You know, one thing leads to another. The Lord told us to go out there and teach and everything else he do. Every, well, he, the Lord does everything, but the Lord told us to teach. That's all we have to do because the Lord is actually staring up the minds of the heathens. He's gearing them into the into the path that they supposed to go. And all we have to do as prophets is just teach, man. That's it, man. Play our part. The Lord play, the Lord deals with the other parts, man. You know, and that's why things are the way they are. So if you can see the season changing, can you tell the time in which you're living in? So it says, so ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the door. So what's at the door? Yahweh Shai coming <laughs> with power and great glory, man, because these things were prophesied. Okay. Jacob's trouble that has to happen. World War Three that has to happen. The force of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, it has to happen. Persecution of the Lord's prophets has to happen. All right. So just know that it is nigh even at the doors. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. So there's nothing, okay, that's going to be excused far as the lord's prophecies in which were written all right before time everything got to play its course man all right esau you going down man you know you going down you're setting yourself up in your own trap as the scriptures say okay what's that psalms 10 the, the uh he, he the lord taketh him in the devices that he have imagined so the things that you imagine to destroy us as a nation, because that's the main goal, to destroy the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. Those are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, which is the Lord's chosen people. You want to destroy them as a nation? You want to destroy them as a people? Well, the Lord is going to take you in your own imagination and destroy you as a people. So it makes sense that in Obadiah, when it's written, that the Lord is going to round them Edomites up and burn them off the face of the earth after slavery, after they serve hard bonded slavery, right? It's only right. It's reasonable. This is all lies going on, man. Fraud. You know, the chul. He is he is definitely the chul. Okay? A mean, impolite, spirited, a mean spirited person, man. Peasant. You know? So it says, verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass. This play, this generation can't pass out until what? Till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. Because this society, this heaven, which we living in, Esau's heaven, and his society under his rule is going to pass away. It's going to pass away. But it says... But my words shall not pass away. Okay? Which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's gospel. It says, But of that but of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels, which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. And that's why we constantly have to be in prayer and watching, man. Because at any given time, when this thing pop off prophecies are going to just roll man this is going to be happening man but in the meantime the elect we got faith we got hope man you know we, we talked about this the brothers in the camp last week and i sit down it seemed like we catching the l but in all reality we, we're, we're getting a w man it's a disguised w and you know what they say uh actually like in sports you know here when you're coming up you're a kid and shit and you winning games and you losing games and they say when you really when you win you really lose they say when you lose you really win and why because when you actually lost when you so-called lose you learn you gain experience when you win you don't see your flaws you don't see your faults so guess what where it looks like we're gonna lose we're actually gonna win <laughs> all right all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai all right so it says, take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants. 
and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. And that's what the Lord did, you know, starting with Ava Bibbins, okay? And all the men under him, the righteous men, down all the way to what you see today, the uh, elder apostles of Great Millstone, you know, the Lord left uh, his house uh, to, to his, he gave the authority to his servants, man, okay, to keep his house in order. It says, and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. All right, that's why you got to be keep, you got to keep up your garment, man. You know, not be walking naked and, and uh, seen and uh, naked, meaning being wicked, because when the Lord come, you're going to be judged, man. At evening or at midnight or at uh, clock crowing or in the morning, least coming suddenly, he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And that's Jake, because Jake always saying that, watch, I, watch, yo, watch, <laughs> watch. <laughs> You know, and that's how you know this, uh, these scriptures is Jake, man. It resonate with us, man. You know, but um, you know, that's it, man. We gotta watch and be sober, man. Continue to keep putting prayers, and just know, remember, Yahweh Shai is 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 uh, he has our back, man. The Lord is for his elect. You know, you know, at the end of the movie, the wicked never really win. The wicked always lose, and that's what makes it a great movie. When the righteous prevail, when the weak. You know, that was being uh, lied upon and, you know, being misused, you know. And when he overcome at the end, you know, you leave that movie theater like, yo, I like that movie. Yo, that was tough, you know. What, or how much more the Lord's movie, the real, the true author, you know, of authors, man. Okay. Which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.